Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build. Obviously today um, the S14 came out for us UK people. Um, it did come out overnight, which is the problem. Um, I was really tired, so I went to bed. Um, but this is the S14 right here I've built. Uh, it's got the Rocket Bunny kit on it. Uh, it looks beautiful. I love the S14. As people uh, have been here for a while, they know on a set of Corsa. I used to run this S14 all day, every day on a set of Corsa. So this is probably my favorite car ever. I would love to own an S14 crazily, crazily I'd love one. Um, I haven't really gone with the paint yet. Um, I'll bring out a painting episode to paint this car. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do to it yet, uh, but the wheels go really well, there's Rocket Bunny. Um, it's just everything about this car looks absolutely sick. And obviously when it's sideways, it's so much better as well. It's, it's <laughs> so good. Look at this car, man. Just look at it. Look at it. Let's get a nice scenic photo here. There we go. There's the thumbnail, lads. There's the thumbnail. Um, so <laughs> here we go. Let's get out of here. And you guys want to see the tune. You want to see the car drift. Um, this is my build. Um, I got on this morning. It's about half eight, and I was on at half seven. I got the car straight away and I've been tuning it for about an hour. Um, I've been drifting around different sections. I've ended up here. Um, I normally do my tuning episodes here. It's closer to the Horizon uh, Festival so I could just quickly go there and show you guys the tune. Um, so this is the car. Rocket Bunny kit. The standard engine. Um, upgraded turbo I believe. Running about 450 horsepower. Um, I will check that when we go back and upgrade um, and show you the upgrades. Uh, but let's get this drifting. As you can see, my time marks here from the, <laughs> the lines I was doing before. Uh, but as usual with my cars, this car is incredibly stable. As it is with the S14, the S14 has quite a long wheelbase, so it's always going to be quite stable. Uh, but this has got the quick transitions with it, which I really love. Um, it's also got the power just to go around those really, really long corners. Uh, it can hold in immense angle as well if you want to, but on the wheel it's hard to do really big angle. Um, it's quite a long way till you're at full lock. Ah, oh, it's weird. The, the wheel's so weird. Um, but yeah, this car is it's so good. It's so It feels grippy, but then you probably will not... Um, Gain traction at all, like right? it's, it's so weird. It is a really weird car because when you're driving along in like gear two, like you pull away in gear two, there's not much of a wheel spin, but it's like when you throw it sideways, it it just slides. It's crazy. Look, gear three at 40 miles an hour, and it's just no no hesitation right here. So yeah, this car is feeling absolutely amazing. Hope you guys check out this tune. I'm going to go back to the Ryzen Festival now. And I'll show you guys the tune. <coughs> I hope it works on the controller as much as it does on the wheel. Um, and another thing, I'm a little bit ill. Um, so my apologies that there has not been any... Um, whoa! Get through that gap. Um, but my apologies that there hasn't been too many videos. Um, I've been working the past two days, 12 hour days. I've been really tired, I've been quite ill as well, I can feel I've got a cold coming on. So if I do sound a little bit strange, I do apologise, um, but hopefully I'll get over it soon. And let's jump in here. Here we go, festival site. S14, look at that. That is, this car is beautiful. It is generally beautiful, I love the S14. It is. <laughs> sounds, absolute sounds. Um, okay, so let's go into the upgrades. Go to custom upgrade. Do not go to body kit uh, presets because that puts all the engine upgrades on and stuff. You want to do it manually, so go to custom upgrade. Go to conversion. What you want to do first is put the body kit on. If you want the rocket bunny, if you don't want the rocket bunny, there you go. Uh, but it looks a little bit, a little bit leave it. But it's up to you guys. Um, so that's what I done there. Um, engine swap. I uh, kept the stock engine as I said. Um, and the power I'm running is 434, so I wasn't too far off from 450, uh, but it's plenty of power. It's more than enough, so that's the 
uh, conversion done. So now onto the error and appearance. It's completely up to you guys. You can only modify the re uh, rear wing. I decided to uh, de-wing it. Uh, that's just a personal preference. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, but if I was going to use a wing, I would use that. Why not? <laughs> looks drift as fuck. So there we go. Onto the tyres. Obviously running the street tyre compound. Front tyre whip 245. As you can guess, the rear is 265. My typical tyre whips right there. Um, they work really well for me. I can dial in the tune for those tyre whips. So that's that. Um, in terms of wheels, it's completely up to you. You can have whatever rim style you want. Um, I've gone for 18 inch rims once you chose the, the style you want. Uh, front and rear. And onto the drivetrain. We have everything, basically everything in drivetrain is race. Um, so just go through and put every one of these on race. Um, easy peasy. Onto platform and handling. This is a personal preference. If you're the controller, um, you can use race brakes. Because uh, I'm on the wheel and I like to tandem. I, when I press the brake, it really it's really sharp on uh, race brakes. Um, so I just run street brakes because it's a little bit, it's not as sharp basically. Like it's a less force there's less force there and um, so I'm not falling too far back when I'm trying to tandem um, so that's a personal preference but you can run race brakes if you want to stop quicker it's up to you and um, that's completely up to you guys springs and dampers off-road springs and dampers right here sport anti roll bars on both front and rear and I've put the roll cage in you don't necessarily need to but I would recommend it uh, it does stiffen up the chassis Quite a bit um, weight reduction, race weight reduction. There we go. Engine intake race fuel system stock ignition stock exhaust race camshaft race stock valves displacement stock. Stock, uh, stock, uh, mouth, stock pistons and compressions, sport turbo, race intercooler, race oil and cooling. So that's, no, it's not race flywheel as well. Okay, so that's all the upgrades right there. I will abandon that setup because I don't know what I changed in there, uh, but that's fair enough. Um, also, if you guys don't know how to get the S14, if you're looking on the store, you have one day. Um, this is from when I released the video. You have one day to win the car, basically. Um, if you press start, uh, I'll show you after I've done the tune. Uh, oh, fuck it. I'll just show you now. <laughs> press B by accident. I might as well show you. Um, so if you press start when you're in the career mode and you go down here, Forza Fon, you have one day left. Basically, you need to do the initial drift king. Score 35,000 points in a drift zone with a Toyota Trueno um, to win the Nissan Silvia S13. So that's all you need to do, uh, but you only have one day to do it. So I recommend you guys get on there pretty quick. Um, there we go. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to show you guys the tune. Okay, I didn't want to. Oh, please give me that car. Please. Please. Oh, I haven't got a Horizon Edition car yet. Oh, we got another spin. Why not? Let's just do spins in my build episode. Why not? I don't really care about the RS4. 7,000 credits. Lovely. Oh, we got more spins. How many have we got? I'll take the Audi R8 though. Even though I've already got one, but why not? 5,000 credits. See, we're balling out here. <laughs> all those, all those monies. All right. Let's go back in here. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's get back on track. <laughs> Alright, where's the tune? Load! Go on! It's taking longer than I wanted. <laughs> okay, tune! It's pizzy lemon squeezy. I am not going to go through everyone, I'm just going to click through. So on the tyres we have this, the gearing, alignment, anti roll bars, springs, damping. Aero, braking, and a differential. So if you want to see any of those, just pause the video. It's simple as that. Uh, it's easier for you guys to copy it down than me to 
say every single one. Um, so what I'm going to do as well for you guys, I'm going to put this tune up on the storefront. So if you guys want to just download it, if you don't want to put all the upgrades on yourself, um, you can just go on... What episode am I on now? Uh, episode 4? I'm guessing 4. Uh, let's just call it episode 4 anyway. If it's episode 5, it's okay. You can still find it. Um, I'm going to upload it onto Storefront for you guys so you can see that. Uh, just put the tune on and it downloads all the upgrades for you. But the tune will be locked so you won't be able to adjust it to your certain needs. Um, so it's probably best to copy it down. Uh, but if you guys are feeling lazy and you don't care about amending it, uh, just download it off the Storefront. It's easy peasy. Um, and it's there for you guys. So if you want to download it, all you have to do is go to the Setup Manager. Um, you press this two box button, the Select button on the on the controller, and then you go to Load Setup, and this takes you onto the storefront. And then you press the Select button again, or the two box button. I don't know what that's actually called, that button. And then you go on there, and you go to the Creator, and you type in Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube, no spaces, and it should come up for you guys. So I hope you guys check that out. If you do, let me know how the tune is, how it runs. Um, quite a few tunes up here already, so pff, hopefully mine gets there first. Hopefully mine gets the most downloads, you know. <laughs> I appreciate the support, everyone. Um, and I will bring out a paint for this. Um, it'll be better than my last episode. A lot of people didn't like my paint episode, but I'll leave that for the paint episode. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, see you guys next time.